In 2005, a surfer named Bethany Hamilton won the National Scholastic Surfing Association National Competition. 15-year-old Bethany absolutely destroyed the competition in the Explorers Women's Final. She accepted her award at the competition dinner to 500 people who were standing and clapping for her. Bethany thanked God and her coach, Ben Aipa, for helping her win. After winning third place in the Open Women Surfing Competition in 2003, the world knew it was only a matter of time until the special girl achieved Nationals gold. What they didn't know was the amazing journey that Bethany would take on her way to finally winning gold. Bethany Meilani Hamilton was born on February 8, 1990 in Hawaii. She began surfing at age 8 and gained her first sponsorship by age 9. Bethany was homeschooled from 6th grade through high school by her mother, who was a stay-at-home mom. Her father worked as a server at a town cafe. In October 2003, after having placed 3rd in the Open Women's Division earlier that year, Bethany's life changed forever. Bethany went for a morning surf with her best friend, Alana, Alana's father and her brother. There she was attacked by a shark and lost her left arm just below the shoulder. Shark attacks don't happen very often, but sometimes sharks mistake surfers for their food, such as seals. Bethany's friends helped paddle her back to shore. Then Alana's father made a tourniquet out of a rash guard and wrapped it around the bottom of her arm. Then she was rushed to the hospital. A doctor living in a hotel nearby raced to the rescue. During later interviews, Bethany said that she felt normal when she was bitten and felt very little pain from the bite at the moment of the attack, but felt it go numb on the way to the hospital. Despite what happened, Bethany was determined to start surfing again. One month after the attack, she got back on her board. First, she used a custom-made board that was longer and slightly thicker than standard and had a handle for her right arm, making it easier to paddle. She learned to kick more to make up for the loss of her left arm. After teaching herself to surf with one arm, she returned to surfing on November 26, 2003, just 26 days after the attack. She entered her first major competition on January 10, 2004. She now uses normal shortboards to compete. The shark-bitten surfboard that Hamilton was riding during the attack as well as the bathing suit she was wearing at the time, are on display at the California Surf Museum in Oceanside, California. Even though she lost her arm, Bethany has had an impressive career with numerous first-place awards. But more important than the medals is her story of overcoming such tragedy where many would have given up. Bethany's story has been turned into multiple books, including a few written by her. She appeared on many TV shows, magazine articles, and in 2004 was named the Best Comeback Athlete and also received the Courage Teen Choice Award. The last two books written by Bethany were based around the theme of being unstoppable. One of her books is named Be Unstoppable, The Art of Never Giving Up, and has inspired readers to be bold, enjoy life, and trust God each day. Bethany is very devout in her religious beliefs and is always quick to share them. There's also been a movie made called Soul Surfer, and a documentary on Netflix called Unstoppable. If you're interested in her story, I highly recommend checking them out. Later, Bethany married her boyfriend, Adam, in 2013, and together they have three sons, Tobias, Wesley, and Micah. The family still lives in Hawaii, where they surf and spend time together. Her kids know all about the attack, but she has used this as an important lesson for them to stay strong. Bethany has always given her time and money to help others, including her own foundation, Friends of Bethany. Her foundation reaches out to amputees and youth, encouraging them to overcome difficulties by offering hope and encouraging them to have faith. Within the Friends of Bethany Foundation, there are four different programs. The first one is Beautifully Flawed, a retreat designed for young women ages 14 to 25 who have experienced traumatic limb loss. Then Shine Forth, is a night filled with stories and inspiration to overcome a free community event to gather together and share comeback stories. Also, Anchored in Love, a conference for girls and young women ages 12 and up, a one-day event designed to help girls and young women discover their true beauty, purpose, and worth. And then The Forge, 
a men's retreat where young male amputees come and focus on faith, fitness, and healthy living. Bethany has done so many amazing things in her career as a surfer, despite the adversity she's had to overcome. She's never stopped, she never gave up, and she never stayed scared. She knew that she had to start surfing again right away, because she wasn't going to let the attack take anything else away from her. She's used her position as a professional athlete to promote living a fit and healthy lifestyle, and inspire other young athletes and amputees that anything was possible for them in life if they just didn't stop. Everyone in life will face setbacks, but it's how we react to these setbacks that define us. Do we stop moving, or do we remain unstoppable? We all need to be more like Bethany. We need to be strong and need to not let fear define who we are or who we can become.